Hi students, uh, so welcome to class number 16 uh, on CMA and uh, financial management. So we are in chapter one decision making tools and we are solving all the additional problems of 44 number problems. And in today's class, we are going to discuss the problems from 35 to 37. Okay, so let's go ahead with today's class. Vinayak Limited. Uh, okay, uh, so guys, before uh, starting, I'm choosing only the very unique problem which we have not solved in our class and very similar problems I'm giving you uh, for doing uh, at uh, yourself. And if you have any doubts, please post on the comment box. I think I will be the only uh, uh, person uh, through YouTube delivering the complete end-to-end uh, -end problems. Okay, so please watch this and uh, for the needy students, please uh, uh, share to the needy students and this will be the right time at least two to three months before you can watch all these videos and consolidate this into facts and knowledge. You can write the short notes, uh, prepare notes accordingly and all those short notes you can refer before the examination. So before the examination, you cannot uh, you cannot uh, see these videos. It may be little because I would have given a very uh, elaborate exp explanation. So you can convert this into small, small notes, small, small formulas, small, small approaches, facts, formulas, how to approach the problem. So all those you can just note down and during the examination, you can see the small notes what you have taken and that will be helpful before the examination. So one or two days before the examination, that will be difficult for you to search the exact video and uh, uh, provided you have saved the video accordingly uh, some uh, one or two weeks before, you can see the videos just before the examination also, but it may take longer time. If you can consolidate into facts, one or two minutes each problem, each problem will have one or two minutes of facts only, but it will have some 15 minutes of explanation in the video. Okay, so use it appropriately guys, but I my request is to share to the people as much as possible. So maximum benefit let, uh, let the student community get uh, CMA students community get. Okay, so let's go ahead with the problem. Vinayak Limited, uh, which produces three products furnishes you following information of uh, for 2015 and 16. Okay, so it's Vinayak Limited products A, B, C are the products selling price is given. PV ratio is given. Maximum sales potential is also given raw material content as percentage of variable cost so raw material content as percentage of variable cost so variable cost has to be found yes we can find the variable cost okay so you all know we have selling price and we have pv ratio selling price multiplied by pv ratio we can find the contribution selling price minus contribution what is that it is variable cost am i right guys uh, selling price minus variable cost is going to give you contribution in the reverse way selling price minus contribution will give you the variable cost so we can find the variable cost also so variable cost as uh, raw material as percentage of variable cost so raw mat so raw material cost also we can find so 50 percentage of uh, variable cost is raw material so that is what they mean so we can find the raw material cost also okay so till now we have understood the problem the expenses uh, fixed or estimated. So fixed cost also it is given 6.8 lakhs. The company uses a single raw material in all the three products. So raw material is common between the product A, B and C. Okay. So next raw material is in short supply and the company has a quota for the supply of raw material for the value of 18 lakh. So guys, we saw a limiting factor type of problems. Uh, machine hover is a limiting factor or labor hover is a limiting factor or raw material is a limit, limiting factor. We saw this type of problem, but in the raw material type, we saw kg of raw material as the limiting factor. But here what they are giving for raw material, they have a they have issued a contract to a supplier for 18 lakhs and that's it. They don't have any forecast who is going to supply the raw material after that. So they are clueless about it. So 18 lakhs only they have with this 18 lakhs of raw material they want to produce a b and c and make maximum profit so that will be the aim let's read the question further set the product mix which will give the maximum overall profit keeping the short supply of raw material in the view okay so maximum profit is our aim but raw material is in short supply accordingly we have to find in the limiting factor raw material problem which we saw earlier Okay, what we used to find contribution and then we will find contribution per kg of raw material. So con contribution per kg of raw material, whichever is higher, we will give first priority to that uh, product and we will manufacture it so that the overall profitability of the company is good. But here 
raw material kg is not given in kg level it is not a short supply it's 18 lakh so 18 lakh is how much kg they have not given so out of 18 lakh so what you will do so contribution per rupee of raw material here we have to find so this unique step is making this problem a very important problem that's why i chose this problem to solve in this video okay so let's go for the calculating the priority matrix so which product is more profitable in this scenario selling price it is given in the question guys pv ratio it is given in the question selling price multiplied by pv ratio we all know it is contribution per unit so we have the selling price we have the contribution per unit so we can call, calculate the variable cost per unit price minus selling price minus contribution per unit is variable cost per unit and raw material how much percentage of variable cost is also given so raw material cost per unit or can also be found okay <coughs> so raw material cost per unit can also be found next uh, contribution per rupee of raw material so here we don't have the kg if we have the kg of how much raw material is used for each product we can find the contribution per kg of raw material but here what it is given as 45 rupees is the raw material out of 90 rupees variable cost we have calculated 90 rupees as variable cost and in question it is given 50 percentage of variable cost is raw material so we have found raw material cost per unit as 50 percentage of variable cost and we have applied for a b and c and we have found raw material cost per unit now what we are going to find we have the contribution per unit we have our raw material cost per unit contribution per unit divided by raw material cost per unit will give you contribution per rupee of raw material so for each rupee of raw material this is the contribution okay in that way 22 paisa is the contribution per rupee of raw material for a and it is 50 paisa for b and 1.33 for c as you see the highest contribution per rupee is earned by c and second priority is given to B and third priority is given to A. Okay, so guys, you know, ru per rupee of what is the contribution? We have contract of raw material given to the supplier for 18 lakh rupees. So now this 18 lakh raw material has to be allocated between A, B and C. Okay, now what we have to see the problem in a different way. Okay, so what is the maximum sales potential? We have to take the maximum sales potential marketing team will have a, a big research team who will do the market research and obtain lot of inputs from various markets and various uh, customers uh, or uh, from the franchisees they get lot of details informations will flow and they have fixed that a maximum potential is this b maximum potential is this c maximum potential is this much so this is the sales potential that is given now we will say how much is the raw material required for this sales potential that also we can find. So, for example, for 40,000 is a sales potential, 40,000 units for A, and it is given raw material cost per unit we have calculated as 45. So, 40,000 into 45 will be the raw material required, the cost of raw material required. For this alone, it is 18 lakh requirement. Okay, same way 25,000 units. 30 rupees raw material is required so 25,000 into 30 7.5 lakhs raw material required for B and for C same way 15 rupees is a raw material per unit and number of units is 10,000 so 10,000 into 15 rupees is 1.5 lakh so how much raw material is available for us 18 lakh is the total availability which is the first priority for us C is the highly profitable because the contribution per rupee of raw material is highest for C so I am allocating the complete 1.5 lakhs which is required for C first. Second priority is for B. We have given the second priority for the B. And for B whatever is the requirement I have 18 lakhs 1.5 lakhs is allocated in the balance 7.5 lakhs I am allocating. So 7.5 lakhs to B and 1.5 lakhs to C total to 9 lakhs I have allocated. So balance I am left out with only 9 lakh. So only that 9 lakh I can give to A. Product A. Now RM allocation is done. Now the contribution per rupee of raw material, we know it is already calculated. We have already calculated contribution per rupee of raw material. We have already calculated and 
how much rupee of raw material is allocated is also there so raw material in rupees multiplied by contribution per rupee of raw material what does we, uh, this will give this will give you the total contribution from this so the total contribution by multiplying this you can find the total contribution okay so raw material allocated or raw material quantity multiplied by contribution per raw material quantity so raw material will cancel each other and it will give you the total contribution from these product so the total contribution is calculated and if you total the total contribution is coming to 7.75 lakhs from all these three products put together and 6.8 lakhs is given as fixed cost in the question itself so minus 6.8 lakhs 95,000 is a profit so so guys when you read this question if you can uh, continuously seeing my video you will understand the limiting factor and here also you will see that this is a raw material uh, limiting factor you may choose this question to answer while reading the question paper but guys this is little different because everywhere you will find the raw material contribution per kg of raw material and give the priority accordingly and then you will uh, <clears throat> calculate the profit for the proposed matrix what is the sales mix you are proposing for that you will calculate the profit but here kg detail is not given at all so per rupee of raw material has to be found this is a very unique problem guys okay so let's move on to the next problem so problem number 36 a review made by the top management of sweet and strangle limited which makes only one product of the result of first two quarters for the year revealed the following sales in units is 10,000 okay sales in units 10,000 units they have made a loss of 10,000 fixed cost it is given 30,000 in quarter per quarter 30,000 is a so they are giving all the detail for a quarter only so 30,000 per quarter and variable cost per unit is given variable cost per unit is given fixed cost is given loss is also given so with loss and fixed cost we can find the contribution with contribution on one hand and variable cost on the other hand we can find the sales also okay so let's see how to apply this okay so finance manager who feels better uh, suggests that the company should at least break even so finance managers aim is to break even in the second quarter with a drive of increased sales towards this the company has to introduce a packing and increase the cost by 0.5 so variable cost packing is a variable cost so what the finance manager is saying if you do a good packing because of the good packing the company can achieve break even the cost is going up the cost is going up so the company can achieve a break even so uh, cost is increased your sales uh, volume will also increase because of the new packing and the company can achieve break even so according to him the target is only break even the next sales manager has alternate proposal for the second quarter additional sales promotion expense can be increased to the extent of 5000 rupees of sales promotion expense okay sales promotion expense is like a fixed cost for the company uh, and the profit of 5000 can be aimed at for the period of increased sales so because of the sales promotion your sales will increase and your overall profit will be 5000 rupees finance manager said an idea and fix the target for break even now sales manager says we can make more than break even we can make some profit also of 5000 rupees next the production manager feels otherwise to improve the demand the selling price per unit has to be reduced by three percentage so what the production manager you reduce the selling price automatically the sales will increase how much we should reduce the selling price three percentage as a result the sales volume can be increased to attain the profit level of four thousand so by reducing three percentage selling price uh, his sales volume will go up and because of that we can make a profit of four thousand so according to him the target is four thousand profit over and above okay profit well, uh, the current situation and sales manager 5000 profit for finance manager break even so this is the target the managing director asks, uh, asks for the cost accountant to evaluate these three proposals just see guys the importance of the cost account this is how your uh, job will also be there all the functional heads will give the detail okay you will always deal with the head of the department of other uh, departments okay so just imagine what is the value of being a cost accountant so calculate the additional units required to reach the respective targets help in the decision making okay so what is the first detail that is given 10,000 is a loss that is given fixed cost for that quarter which is the first quarter it is given as 30,000 rupees so profit plus fixed cost will give you contribution in this case it is loss so I have given a minus so minus 10,000 plus fixed cost of 30,000 20,000 is a contribution now you have the contribution now the variable cost per unit is 8 
total number of units is 10,000. So, 8 rupees into 10,000, 80,000 rupees is a total variable cost. You have the total contribution, you have the total variable cost also. So, contribution plus variable cost will give you the sales. So, contribution is 20,000, variable cost is 80,000, putting together sales is 1 lakh. So, 80,000 plus 20,000, 1 lakh is a sales for the volume of 10,000 sales quantity. So, 1 lakh divided by 10,000, price per unit is 10. So why did we do this approach is variable cost per unit is given. We need the sales. Sales minus variable cost is only contribution. We can find the contribution for the first quarter. But the second quarter, what management wants to calculate the additional units required. So you have to find the additional units required to meet the target. So for calculating the additional units required, we have to calculate the profit the additional units will give. To find the profit, we have to know the contribution. To know the contribution, we have to know the selling price. Then only we can do the marginal cost statement. So for finding the selling price, though this has to be your first approach. First, let's find the selling price. Okay, so if you find the selling price, uh, we can draft the marginal cost statement. That is where is the twist here. So here, you will read the question. You will spend 10 minutes of your time, whether to answer or not, if this question comes in your examination. And if you are not answering, you have wasted your 10 minutes. Okay, so this type of problem is very unique. Okay, in which uh, top and bottom you will not understand, but it is a very simple problem. Okay, here the three department heads is proposing three targets. And as a cost accountant, you are going to evaluate these uh, three target and find what does this respective target means. The managing director wants this detail from a cost accountant like you. Okay. <clears throat> So the first quarter details is given here. All those first quarter detail you have put, loss is given, fixed cost is given. You can find the total contribution. Variable cost per unit is given. Qua volume is given. Multiply, you can find the total variable cost. So total variable cost, total contribution you have. You can find the total sales. Then you can find divided by the qua sales in units. You can find the selling price per unit. Now I am going to put all the three decision making. So FM is finance manager, SM is sales manager and PM is the production manager. So for all, uh, all of them, uh, let's see what is the selling price. So selling price is 10 rupees we have calculated here. So for finance manager, he does not ask any uh, changes on the selling price. He's okay. Sales manager is also okay. But production manager says cut the selling price by 3%. So 3% cut on the selling price production manager has suggested. So 10 rupees will become 9.7 rupees. It is just 97% of 10 rupees which is 9.7 rupees variable cost per unit finance manager suggest good packing so 50 pies per unit it will improve 50 pies uh, packing is a variable cost 50 pies per unit increase in the variable cost variable cost given in the question is 8 so as per finance manager uh, uh, suggestion 8.5 is the variable cost now and uh, sales manager or the production manager does not uh, vary the variable cost now sales minus variable cost, you can find the contribution per unit. <clears throat> and fixed cost, this is where is the twist. Fixed cost, 30,000 is the fixed cost that is given in the question. Finance manager does not want to change the fixed cost. He just want to put the new packing, increase the variable cost by 50 paisa that we have already accounted. Next, uh, sales manager, what he sells, increase the sales promotion expense by 5,000 rupees. So fixed sales promotion expense is a fixed cost. Already the fixed cost is 30,000. Now we are increasing by 5,000. It becomes 35,000. Now production manager just cut the selling price. That was his suggestion. Uh, so the same uh, fixed cost is going to remain, which is 30,000. So what is the target for finance manager? Target is to break even. So if, if it, the target is to break even, you are making zero profit. So which means your fixed cost <coughs> is equal to contribution which means you have you have to earn a contribution equal to fixed cost. So contribution minus fixed cost is zero, no loss, no gain. That is called break even point. So the contribution target is equal to fixed cost, which is 30,000 rupees. Next, uh, what the sales manager says, increase in the profit of 5,000 rupees. Okay, profit of 5,000 means contribution minus fixed cost should give you a profit of 5,000. So already the fixed, fixed cost is 35,000. You have to earn the profit also. So 35,000 plus 5,000, 40,000 is the contribution you have to earn. You have to earn a contribution of 40,000 so that the fixed cost 35,000 it will go and 5,000 profit it will remain with you. The same way 4,000 profit for the production manager's uh, scenario, 4,000 is a profit. So 30,000 is a fixed cost. Over and above that you have to take 
4000 for the profit so 30000 plus 4000 34000 is the contribution target now number of units from this you can find the number of unit total contribution required we have calculated here you have you already know the contribution per unit in each the cases so total contribution divided by contribution per unit will give you the number of units in each cases in all the three cases it's coming to 20000 units is the sales quantity in all the three cases which means your sales quantity has to be 20000 the same which is very beauty of this problem is 20000 is the sales quantity that is required already how much the sales quantity is going on is 10000 so 20000 minus 10000 10000 is the additional quantity so these three proposals make a good packing or cut the selling price or let it be increase the sales promotion expense all the three boils down to only one thing increase the uh, sales by 10000 in all the three uh, so as a cost accountant you can project this to managing director uh, that increase of sales by 10000 unit is required in all the three cases so whichever is the best for us we can choose are we going to change the packing because the customer is going to see the product by the packing and it is a feel for the product you can do that or uh, you want to increase the sales promotion expense it's going to be the fixed cost increase and every year you have to you have to continuously do it because it's a fixed cost it will repeat for every year okay and or you want to reduce the selling price okay uh, uh, if whichever is suitable for you you can do but ultimately everything boils down to one thing additionally you have to sell, uh, sell 10,000 rupees this as a cost accountant you can propose this to your managing director so that's on this problem let's move to the next one okay yeah uh, a limited uh, company manufactures three different uh, products and the following information has been collected from the books of accounts there are three products s t and y sales mix is given selling price is also given variable cost is given so selling price variable cost is given we can find the contribution and uh, okay total sales is also given so total sales sales mix is given so what is the sales of each product also we can find okay and fixed cost is also given 1.8 lakhs the company has currently under discussion uh, a proposal to discontinue the manufacture of Y. So out of S T Y, they want to discontinue Y and replace it with M. So that's why here it is changed as S T and M. When the following results is anticipated, so there is a new sales mix and new selling price. Everything new is there, and fixed cost is 1.8 lakhs. That is constant. Your overall sales is going up. Will you advise the company to do the changeover? So overall sales is going up. The revenue is going up. That does not mean it's great. Whether your profit is going up or not that is as a cost accountant we look at that okay so let's go on analysis so sty we have to analyze so sty the total sales is given as six lakhs so six lakhs is the total sales so sales mix means the percentage of sales of each product on the overall sales is given 35 35 30 so sales mix it is applied the sales it is coming next price per unit it is given selling price per unit is given so we already know the okay we know the total sales we know the price per unit so which means so we know the price per unit the so total sales divided by the price per unit is going to give you the volume or the quantity or the sales volume you can say so sales volume can be found and variable cost per unit is given now you know the total quantity also for each product so the total variable cost can be found so the total sales you have I, ha I have highlighted in yellow and total variable cost also you have so total sales minus total variable cost is the contribution and total contribution can be found uh, as 2.82 lakhs and fixed cost it is given in the question already 1.8 lakh if you reduce that the total profit is 1 lakh and 2000 rupees now this is for s t and y case now the y product the company is willing to discontinue and uh, uh, they want to replace it uh, with M, whether this will fetch you more profit or not. That is what they have asked you a question as a cost accountant. In this case, apply the same matrix. The total sales is given as 6.4 lakhs. Sales mix is given. So the sales in rupees, you can uh, divide into the three products. Now price per unit is given. With that, you can find the volume. Uh, what is the volume or quantity you can find? And variable cost per unit is given multiplying by the volume sales volume you can find the total variable cost 
total sales you already have total variable cost you already have total sales minus total variable cost will give you the total contribution now the total contribution you can add up what is the total contribution at the company level minus the fixed cost which is same with the previous case 1.8 lakh is the fixed cost 1.4 lakh is the profit okay so why did i choose this problem this is very simple problem very simple but why did i choose this the student lot of students get confused uh, on how to find the total variable cost here if you want to find the total variable cost variable cost per unit is given in the question multiplied by the sales volume so how you will find the sales volume for that the total sales is given in rupees revenue is given to you so revenue sales mix is given so revenue can be bifurcated into three products and then selling price per unit is given with that you have to find the volume volume multiplied by the variable cost per unit will give you the total variable cost in the first three steps all the students uh, get confused okay after reading the question uh, spending a lot of time on that and then they will skip the question that is very painful guys okay you have to read the question okay marginal costing i will select this problem because i know the marginal costing okay in that case you have to read the problem and you have to answer it okay and that should be the way of uh, uh, preparation you have to do and after reading the question i am still doubtful let me choose different problem then you will spend a lot of time in reading the question itself then how will you uh, 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 attack your uh, minimum marks minimum you have to get 40 marks 50 at least you have to get but my students i am sure they will only get exemption they have to aim for 60 okay so that whichever is the weaker subject there you can get 40 okay this should this has to be your stronger subject okay so yes guys so this is our class for the day uh, let's meet in the next class. Thank you. Thank you students.